So producer, you didn't know that I knew I'm like a classically trained pianist. Did you not know that? Let me, let me scrape one off for you. Never took a lesson. I digress. Let's talk about annuity death benefits because that's going to kill you if you listen to more of that, right? How do they work? Like you buy an annuity and you die. What happens? We're going to go through that, but now you're getting ready to hear good music. Hit it. You want more, don't you, producer? You want to hear more of that avant-garde thing I got going with the piano. I know, you're saying, you just can't teach talent. That's true. Stan the annuity man. America's annuity agent, I'm really good at annuities. I'm not too good at piano. But let's talk about death benefits and how they are paid with annuities. Now, I digress a little bit. Life insurance companies over here, and that's life insurance. Best death benefit on the planet you can ever get lump sum tax-free to the beneficiaries. I mean, if Stan the annuity man dies, I mean, you need to do an investigation because my family's just gotten rich. I love life insurance, I don't sell it, but it's the best death benefit out there. Best return on investment you're never gonna see because you're dead, right? Don't panic, don't panic. Now you have annuities, you have annuities over here, right? Life insurance companies issue annuities, I know, sounds weird, but annuity death benefits are not tax-free. Now, going back over here, life insurance, you have to go through underwriting process. You have to fill out the forms and you have to get medical records and the, the really nice nurse comes to your house and gets blood and you have to pee in a cup. Don't fill the cup up. They only need about that much. Don't fill it up. I filled it up one time. They're like, no, no, no. You just, this is a little, okay, I digress. So you got that. You got, the, you got to go through the underwriting process. In other words, they got to approve you. Annuities, you don't need approval. You can, you can be smoking Remember those um, Lucky Strikes with no filters? I think you smoked that, right? I mean, no, you did Okay, you smoked the filter one. Lucky Strike with no filters and drinking a bottle of Jim Beam a day. That's a goal setter. And you, can't, you couldn't qualify for a life insurance for anything. Annuities, guaranteed issue. Meaning that they're going to issue it to you. Period. That's a good thing, but it's not tax-free. So let's go in the middle. Which one's better? Well, if you can qualify for life insurance, it's better. It's just, it is. I don't sell it, but it's better. But a lot of people out there, a lot of you baby boomers, turning 65 every day, 10,000 of you every single day, you live a hard life. You probably, you know, and remember this, life insurance companies have the big buildings for a reason. They want to insure healthy young people, right? <laughs> they don't want to insure people that have issues, etc. But with annuities, you can attach what's called a death benefit rider. A rider is an attached benefit to a policy that you can attach at the time of application. And there's probably, I'd say at this time of this taping, I'd say less than 20 companies that offer a death benefit rider that's guaranteed issue. Now, those are paid out a little, a little different than lump sum tax free with the life insurance. With annuities, with a death benefit rider, you can get it lump sum. You can also get a five-year payment if they offer that. And some, some companies even off, offer annuitization. And not, not so many, I don't think, as uh, in, the, in the recent years. But most of the people, 99.9%, .9 it's either a lump sum or a five-year payment with the annuity death benefit. Okay, let's talk about death benefits on annuities that don't have a death benefit rider. Okay? If you buy, say, a single premium immediate annuity and you set it up so where that 100% of any unused money goes to the beneficiaries, that's a death benefit. That would be either a life with cash refund or life with installment refund or life with a specific period certain. That would be a death benefit. That would apply also to qualified longevity annuity contracts and deferred income annuities. Those are what's called annuitized products. Annuitized means to create payments. Think of a, a water faucet. A guy called in the other day, he goes, I really don't understand annuitization. He goes, it just, what is that? I'm like, envision like you have you know, in the past, like I lived in the South, we called them water spigots attached to the house. You had a water spigot and you turn it on, water flows. Let's just assume you rip the knob off of that. Water's just gonna flow and there's nothing you can do. In essence, that's annuitization. Annuitization is ripping the knob off and the payments are going to come regardless. Now, you can structure it so that it can be on your life or joint life, 
uh, so two lives, and you can structure it so that any unused payments when, when you or you and a spouse pass goes to the list of beneficiaries. That's a death benefit. Let's talk about other death benefits with other products. Let's talk about, say, deferred annuities. These aren't income annuities. These are deferred annuities, like multi-year guarantee annuities, fixed indexed annuities, or variable annuities that don't have any riders attached. You just have those policies. The death benefit is the accumulation value of those policies. So let's go one by one. With a multi-year guarantee annuity, that's like a CD. That's the annuity industry's version of a CD. So the death benefit would be whatever that interest rate has grown by. You know, the principal's protected, it's a fixed annuity. That's the death benefit. Now you can get that lump sum or pay it out over five years with most carriers. Same thing with fixed index annuities. I know it's sold as a market product, but it's not. It's a CD product, and that's fine. But it also fully protects the principal. So what's the death benefit? The death benefit on a fixed index annuity without a rider is that index option that's been growing at CD-ish type rates, some years a little bit better than others, but the blended rate of return is typically CD or enhanced CD type rates. And with variable annuities, the death benefit is the separate accounts, me and you call them mutual funds, inside of that policy and what they have grown to which will go to your beneficiaries, either lump sum or paid out over five years. So put in the back of your head, life insurance is the best death benefit you can get. But if you want a death benefit on an annuity, you can buy an attached rider. Or if you don't want to have an attached rider to the policy, and oh, by the way, when I said buy, they, there is a fee for those riders that comes out of the accumulation value. But if you don't want to do that, you can structure all annuity types so that 100% of any unused money goes to your beneficiaries, which in essence is a death benefit. All right, don't panic. Don't panic. I have to wear it on my shirt. I have to wear it on my sleeve. No, I'm wearing it on the front. But anyway, talking about death benefits, people that are asking the question either own the policy or beneficiaries of the policy, right? I get a lot of calls from the, uh, from the kids that are looking for the, for the money and you know, what's the uh, setup of the beneficiaries? Well, only the owner can, can make that call. I cannot give that away to the beneficiaries. Now, talking about beneficiaries, you can list as many beneficiaries on the policy as you want. You could have 100, you could have two, you could have three, you could have them in tiers. You could have primary beneficiary, secondary beneficiary, tertiary means three, third level beneficiary. You can set them up and they're, they're revocable, meaning that somebody could make you mad and be removed as beneficiary from the annuity policy. You just have to work with us at theannuityman.com and we can get you the proper forms to change those beneficiaries or to change the percentages. Give you an example. I had a guy call the other day and he had wanted to buy a fixed, a fixed rate annuity, with multi-year guarantee annuity, but he wanted three levels of beneficiaries for the death benefit. So he had his spouse, his primary beneficiary, 100%. He had two kids. They were secondary beneficiaries, 50% each. And then he had the children, he had four grandchildren from the two children, and they were each 25% each. So let's go through that. The wife's at 100, so if he dies and the wife's still alive, the wife gets it all, 100%. If him and the wife die in the fiery plane crash, that's not good, but let's just say they do, then the two kids move up, they're secondary beneficiaries, and they get 50-50, they split it in half. But let's just say the mom and dad and the kids went on, on the plane, and the grandkids went to camp and the plane hits the mountain. So in the grandkids that were 25% each, four of them, they get it split 25% of the death benefit. Makes sense? Absolutely. You're in control of that. You can, you can dictate who the beneficiaries are, the percentages, the level, primary, secondary, tertiary. You can have as many as humanly possible, but understand that life insurance is the best death benefit on the planet, but life insurance companies issue annuities, and annuities do have their role for death benefit as well. You know, people die, right? Isn't that true, producer? Isn't that kind of morbid? I digress. There's a lot of people that own annuities that are, that are passing away, and there are a lot of people that are inheriting annuities, and I just did a video on inherited annuities, and what are your options? Pretty good video because it's timely. There's a lot of people that are passing away, and there's a lot of money being transferred and with inherited annuities, there's, there's some nuances you need to be aware of, and that's a very good video to take a look at. Two things, I know the music's playing, but hang in there with me. Hit the subscribe button below. I do one of these every single day, Monday through Friday, and let me send you my books. Here they are, I'm gonna fan them out to you. Six owner's manuals, I will send them to you for free and under no obligation, go to theannuityman.com or you can click the more options button 
below me here. I'll send them in this gold foil mailer. It'll be at your house in seven to 10 days. No one will call, show up, or bug you, or invite you to a bad chicken dinner seminar. We just want you to understand annuities so you can make a fully informed decision on your terms and on your time frame. So with that, I'll see you on the next video.